Sean? You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Why let me out now? After all this time? That's... Well, that's hard to explain. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment, of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me, would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Well, here I am. Was it worth it? I believe so. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? I made a choice. I let the sense go free. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? They were afraid. They didn't want to come back here. Afraid? They're machines, artificial. They're incapable of being afraid. This was such a simple task. I just don't understand. I know you're capable of handling yourself. How can I expect you to represent the Institute if this sort of thing continues? This really is a matter of importance. Sean, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I appreciate that. But this... makes things... 
difficult. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Defenses are quite sturdy, yes? You should wash your hands after that. It can be unsanitary to handle the deceased.
cricket. So many guns and so little time. You just gotta buy them. Let's see what you have. A part of every big purchase goes to planting little bitty trees that I'll blow up in your honor. Hey, pal. Hi, I'm Meg. Are you new to the hill? For 10 caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Any chance I can get it for free? Fine. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. Hey there. You there. We need to have a conversation. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. 